Hey everyone, Aja here from Pandemonium. We found a new camp spot. That place that we were at was nice, but there was a lot of traffic that went by and it was a bit dusty. So we found something not so dusty and really close to a stream. It's really beautiful here. The sun's about to go down. I'm up front, then Bruce is here. Jeff is right there and Jimmy on the other side. Terry and Scott found a nice spot right by the river just for them two and they're gonna stay there just a couple days. So our spot is right by this pool here and it's been dammed up. There are beavers here but this looks a little um, human made but it's lovely right here. The water is chilly but it feels good after you get used to it. This area is fenced off because I heard that it is used for spawning so they have that all fenced off. It goes clear up there. But this is open here to the public. And yep, we're just camping here. We did have some visitors. There's some cows just a moment ago that they left. It's an awesome spot. It's wonderful. We're getting ready to go for a walk. Come on, Boo. <laughs> Get him, we'll get him. Get him. Get him, we'll get him. <laughs> there are cows everywhere. There's some right there on the hillside. They definitely don't like dogs. <laughs> yeah. I don't think they care about me. They probably don't care about us either. So this is a safe haven for Utah State Fish. It's the Bonneville Cutthroat Trout and Temple Fork. So that's what breeds here. This is the life cycle. Spring. Babies. Summer. Little babies. And then the small fishies. Medium fish and full grown. So and this is the habitat. All right, you ready? Bye awesome camp, we'll be right back. So it goes from there all the way to here and I guess this is a popular breeding ground, that's why they have it fenced off really beautiful here. So there's Ephraim's Grave, Temple Flat, and Spawn Creek Trailhead. I think that's close to where we are. We're on 007, <laughs> James Bond. And then 170 goes that way. But I think the 170 just loops around. It goes up and loops around here. That's where we're gonna walk. Mimi over here. Good girl. So we're just gonna take this little loop real quick. Just to get a walk in. There's the creek right there. Cows everywhere. <laughs> Grazing, grazing. That's what they do. Oh, cow in the middle of the road. <laughs> oh, look at how deep it gets here. Oh, that's actually a beaver dam right there. There are beaver here. There's a bigger one up here when we were looking around. I remember seeing it. Moo Moo, come on. You're not a little cow. Might look like it. Go join, join the herd, Moo Moo. Go join, they're, they're looking at you. The black and white one's looking at you, Moo Moo. It's like, come my baby. And that's pretty. And then on the other side here, 
right there is the, another dam built by the beavers. What? Yeah, this is the huge one. Uh, are you talking about the cows or the, the beaver dam? This is the big one right here. So, <laughs> yeah, it goes from here all the way over. It just blocks it up. Huh. I'm gonna walk down there real quick. There's a pile back there that's probably the beaver's den or whatever. I don't know. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Yep. There is a big, huge slab of something here, but this is a, no. You want to or, or no? No! No! Okay. <laughs> Come on, Mama, let's go. Up, up. Go. Go. Good girl. Ah. Ah. There's a trail here. Except so this is the trailhead. Trail goes way out through there. What is it? No beaver hunting. <laughs> Close to beaver harvest. Temple Fork Sawmill. The site is 3.2 miles away. Junction, what is it, Dugway Springs is 4.7 miles. I doubt we'll go that far. Go ahead, Mimma, we'll go. So pretty through here, look at it. Across the river. Look, Moo, it's your cousin. Uh oh. <laughs> this ground is too hard to. They look a lot alike, but you know, different spots. <laughs> I said they look like cousins. <laughs> All right, come on, guys. All right, Just amazing. Nice trail by the river. Look at that view out there. I'm coming, Mimu. Oh, wow, look at those rocks up there. These are cool. Are y'all getting some shade? Yeah, yeah that sounds... Back my head top. <sighs> no. We thought we had waited for the sun to go past the mountain, but... It's actually pretty hot in the valley here with the river. some wild parsnip. Where? Oh, wild parsnip. Not good. That's poisonous and it has an acid that eats skin. Stay away from that. Wow, look how beautiful it is. It's peaceful sounding too. What are they doing? Oh, um, taking a drink?
Oh, yay. Here comes some shade. Finally. Oh. Ah. Much better. Probably shouldn't have wore black, but I thought it was going to be a nice shady evening walk. Didn't realize there was going to be the sun blaring on my back. But this feels much better. So nice. This trail is wonderful. This is what I've been wanting to do. We were at the lake and stuff, and that was nice. But I like to stay active, and there wasn't really many hiking trails there. Actually, none. You could walk through the campsite, but this is what I really enjoy. Out in nature. <laughs> and an awesome river. Or creek. Whatever you want to call it. A lot of amazing wildflowers, amazing river, creek, whatever you want to call it. I just noticed the canyon walls on this side. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, it's getting dark. Hold on. Let's go this way. There you go. Oh, I better catch up to him. Come on, Moo. Let's go. Go, go, go. <laughs> There's a natural bridge or a real bridge? <laughs> Doesn't look too bad. <laughs> Either way, does she? Look how pretty. Huh? So pretty. It is pretty. Ah, since the sun's gone away, definitely feels much better. This is freaking awesome. So I've had people ask me why I don't comment all the time on YouTube or Facebook. When I get a chance or a moment, I do try to comment. It's just when I get out in places like this, there's absolutely no internet. We're in a mountain pass right now. I've been here for several days and I just don't have any internet and there's nothing I can really do about it. But in a couple days, we'll be leaving here and I'll have internet again, hopefully. It just can be pretty spotty depending where I am. So if you've wrote me a message on Facebook or commented and asked a question I didn't reply, that's probably why. So we just climbed about 10, 15 feet. Ooh, look at that, that's pretty right there. A little bit above the river, creek, whatever you want to call it. it looks like more like a river up here. I don't know, it can be a creek. Anyways, it's definitely warmer. You can tell. So pretty, so pretty. Look, you can tell those trees have been chopped down by the beaver. <laughs> There's several of them. This looks like that big slab of rock that was by the beaver dam. Oh, there's another bridge coming up. I guess we go across the river. So the path does keep on going. And I think there's another path. Is there another path over here? Or trail? Is there another trail over here? Oh, it goes up the hills. Oh, cows. Huh? What is it? Gurgling? Yeah. It's that big rock. Oh, it's Gurgling. the big rock? Yeah. Gurgling away. It sounds like a percussion. <laughs> All right. A tuba.
Well, it's been a lovely walk, but I think we're gonna turn around and head back to the rig. Because if we continue on, we're gonna be going into the sun, so. All right, I'll see you when we get back there. Dang, we just saw a beaver. Oh, there's a beaver at the edge of the... Isn't that a beaver right there? It's a stump. That's a stump? Oh, we did see one, but it went into its den. Oh, no, it is. Is it one? Yeah, it is one right there. Oh, maybe not. Hold on. It just caused a ripple. That is a beaver. Is yeah. Right there, is chewing on... Yeah, it is. It's right there. On a... I'll try to zoom in. That is a pretty big beaver. <laughs> what are you laughing about? It's oh, big beaver. That is a pretty big beaver. Look how wet it is. It's a big wet beaver. And it's fuzzy. <laughs> There's the other beaver right there it's swimming. It came out of the den. Is this the path down? It is. Wow, that sucker's huge. Look, I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of dark. Oh, there it comes out. Wow, that thing's huge. Did your world stop spinning? Does your world revolve around me? Well, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe down below. Don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified whenever I put a new video out. I want to thank y'all for hanging out with me. Hopefully, we'll see you in the next video. Until then, stay safe and onward bound. Love you guys out there. Good night.